good evening friends um now in continuation with the uh, series on the meta analysis i welcome you all to this uh, particular video of mine wherein i'm going to discuss about some of the free and open softwares available for meta analysis first and foremost i would be taking you through the uh, revman uh, this is uh, the most popular uh, i should say software that is used for meta analysis and let's uh, proceed further first of all to understand as to uh, why revman and what is the reason that we need to utilize it now uh, first of all let me tell you that the full form of revman is review manager now from this particular name itself we have understood that yes it is being used for making reviews reviews of what literature definitely so this is going to be helpful for our review of literature more and more now this was developed uh, for the first time by by um, uh, the side of Cotrain uh, collaboration and uh, Cotrain collaboration focuses more uh, let me tell you for um, I mean uh, this was used basically in the domains of medicine psychology uh, experimental designs and um, you know alternative medicines uh, to understand and go for a long uh, review of literature when I say for a long it means that for a longer period of time you know they they literally were using it i myself um, with the help of my teacher definitely yes and we were focusing more on uh, medicine uh, medicine psychology genetic experimentation as to how much and um, you know i was literally working on that side on one of the papers along with um, my teacher's wife and uh, you know she asked me uh, to go through this particular uh, training um, you know to uh, understand how the entire um, analysis takes place in um, in review manager especially for the uh, synthetic as well as the meta analysis <clears throat> Now, if you remember that um, last year I did post, uh, and that's what prompted me to proceed further, actually to tell you when I was doing the review of literature, I was thinking that yes, I'm doing so much of work for Cotrain collaboration and, uh, you know, so much of training, grooming sessions are taking place, how to understand and how much of time is required, how to read a particular paper that has been given to me and how I'm supposed to add the information in the Revman itself. Now, at that time, I thought why I cannot use it in my own field also and that's why I started off with the playlist <clears throat> if you remember on uh, review of literature wherein I did um, you know emphasize more about synthetic analysis meta-analysis narrative analysis and you know quite a lot of them were utilized however remember that Revman is basically used for medicinal psychology um, then uh, experimental designs and for those kind of um, uh, trial errors uh, you know uh, if I have to understand what happened before what was the status later on for those purposes however as I started reading more and more and I came in contact with Andy Field and since he comes from the domain of psychology and uh, you know I started reading his book which was recommended uh, by Dr. Nidaj Kashiksa and I was reading and uh, you know more than the technical things that were available in that book I was more stuck up with the examples which uh, Andy was uh, mentioning especially you know um, he uh, did speak about in the initial and I am never able to proceed further and complete his book till date let me tell you forget about the statistical tools that though is available and we are able to understand however the way he explains it certain examples if you look for example he does talk about have you ever thought um, you know why a person cannot eat the eyes of the fish now you know when I was looking at that and I was just looking what exactly happens because you see he is number one coming from Australia that now settled at UK writing the book from that perspective it really uh, took me some time that yes um, you know why don't people eat eyes of the um, uh, fish and I was just literally looking because I have seen some of my friends um, in UK you know when I myself was present there and I could see that the entire fish was um, you know 
know put into the microwave and it was taken out they used to eat like that though i'm a vegetarian in that manner and i just, when i looked and i was thinking from that perspective and somehow i missed that out uh, basically whether they were consuming the ice also or not then i uh, searched myself um, you know uh, via the youtube to see and find out certain videos wherein uh, it was discussed about why people don't like to eat um, uh, you know ice of the fish and i was thinking and i saw that yes when somebody was preparing they themselves never consumed however it was given away as a delicacy to the children or something due to x y z reason and later on when i discovered that yes um, you know what was the repercussions of those things it was like i was wondering why why not and then i started relating the same um, thing in from the historical perspective from my own country india wherein if you remember draupadi's um, you know swayamvar and arjun was supposed to hit the eye of the fish you see now these are the things that prompts me whenever i start reading his book and then i understood that okay he is not just writing his book he is even asking you to start thinking about those things now for example then he talks about the animals that are used especially um uh, not used i would say which are uh, very it's a very weird for example finding a leech in the uh, private organs of the female especially it enters into the womb and what happens to the person or it enters the uh, man's body via their private uh, parts now you know i was just thinking how can that be possible and that led me to certain other uh, writing of the papers uh, which i did lot of study and one of the paper um, anyways uh, that was present more and more so you will understand that yes um, why i wanted to mention is that these kind of a studies really are thought uh, thought provoking number one number two if you start looking um, into it and you can really do a very good uh, synthetic or meta analysis also side by side so revman in that way helped me a lot and later on after watching uh, one of the videos recommended by uh, neeraj sir uh, especially on speed dating now i was thinking what went wrong and all everything was discussed then um, you know i really wanted to know so uh, i was at lovely professional university for four days or five days um, i should say workshop over there um and then um, uh, the good thing about lovely professional uh, university is that they have um, the library which is awesome number 1 number 2 it is 24 by 7 so you know after the completion of my workshop um i was very fond of uh, the libraries and being a bookworm myself i just entered and trust me with the help of the softwares that were available jigit and uh, uh, i should say proquest i was able to sit over there and i really wanted to know more about dating you know because somehow uh, i never dated a person in my life and uh, so you know i was quite curious as to why these the kind of a things happen and in my surroundings i could see that yes people do my own student because um, there are certain examples which were there and it always uh, provoked my thoughts again as to why they are so much interested in everything and trust me um, five days there um at a lovely professional university i the librarian was awesome uh, again in their help towards my search and when i was in the workshop they were able to download more than 1 lakh articles on different different topics associated with just the concept of dating i said can you just download it which they did it luckily and i was carrying the um, my pen drive so they were able to give it to me in the in that particular pen drive and i was amazed to see that maximum of the cases whether it was in um, uh, foreign countries when i say foreign countries like uk singapore hong kong australia all those uh, other places versus india you know there were a lot of things and i could see that uh, there were very few 
positive points about dating and more of negativity and now that prompted me thinking you know why it should be negative by nature if it is such a beautiful concept that yes two people and then i was looking so you know when i started uh, i was thinking now we should i note down because excel does help me a lot in making uh, the entire review of literature in whatever way and i have my own sheet prepared on a daily basis when i read i keep entering it. uh one or two or whatever the number of papers i keep reading however i wanted more for example negativity was further divided into various categories under alcoholism the age factor the dress factor the date factor i mean there were a lot of factors into it so i was looking for that and the moment i was uh, introduced to revman trust me my categorization of those things turned out to be fantastic and uh, the book that were given or the articles the research papers articles blogs the entire thing that i was able to it took me nearly um uh, i should say one year and two and a half months trust me to complete that particular thing in order to understand the status of dating now still i was not um, not at all um, i should say satisfied and convinced one fine day i was just out of uh, my this thing my nephew was nephew and nieces were here and i was just sitting with them and they were watching a movie uh, a walt disney movie i should say enchanted now that was was the time when uh, i could hear they were too young i should say the age group between 5 to 8 years not more than that and i was sitting with them and the kind of dialogue now dekhna bua now they would be going dating each other now that is what my niece answered my nephew said dekhna wo khud taiyar hogi dance karegi party pe jayenge you know i was surprised at that age how can they understand all these things then i got interested into the movies and the manner it has impact on the uh, mind of the children therefore i had to go back and search whether watching the movies again has some kind of an impact before and after how what kind of a dialogues and that was a qualitative kind of a paper which i had to write it down exclusively by looking at that age group uh, various age groups i have taken over there and then to see the walt disney movies uh, or the cartoons so that they can understand so that is how i wanted to uh, make you understand that it helps and uh, one more thing that i wanted to tell you is that since i have already introduced that there are two kinds of meta analysis because i'm focusing more on meta analysis rather than synthetic analysis at the moment two varieties if we are going for meta analysis summaries then it can go for 3 to 4 months of our studies and we can really because we need to record date time the number of studies that were taken and what kind of variables were present the, everything uh, we will see later on when i'll be showing it across to you whereas um uh, you know these things uh, really matter to us in the meta analysis and one has to be very uh, careful about them now easy to use revman is very easy only hitch being that um, you need to understand how to go ahead and make those uh, notes for yourself good support is given to the system it's a very easy it's not at all difficult risk of bias assessment tool is also available sometimes the biasness from the side of the uh, person who is writing now one has to understand that and see whether that biasness is also present or not and we can calculate it that's number 1 and then we can carry forward so uh, you know you can go ahead and you can download the software from this particular link that has been provided to us number one number two you need to it's absolutely free you need to check on the academic tool if you are using it for the commercial purposes which i'll show you in the video which follows immediately after this you would be able to understand that's the thing that i wanted to add a uh, short introduction to revman and secondly that we need to uh, remember is that um, you know i'll be taking you through the entire platform to understand and to proceed further with the uh, entry of our 
own um, studies that we would like to go ahead with the meta analysis before I can jump in for the calculations. So I hope uh, this is going to be a short introduction for RevMath and let me come back again. Uh, I mean, I'll be continuing with the uh, video part of it also side by side um, and I, 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 through that you will be able to see how to get the practical exposure and I'll be sharing certain papers which were written um, uh, with the help of the RevMath number one. Number two, there are very few papers in the domain of the management. However, if somebody is interested to go ahead and uh, give at least a shot of one year that's the minimum thing however for the summaries wherein we are going to write the papers for seminar conferences or uh, for the journals especially if we have to just give the title meta analysis for the so and so topic we can use this also side by side so i hope you are enjoying it as i enjoyed it uh, getting trained over it uh, so let me come back to you with more videos on it till then thanks and take care bye